I said to the kids, I said, when I grow up, I'm going to be an artist. <laughs> they said, you're already grown up. I said, don't insult me. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name's Ava Saulberger. We are here in Jeffersonville, and we're going to spend the afternoon with Charlie Guillette, who was an art teacher for 37 years. Teaching wasn't a job. It was what I did. I loved it. In fact, Mr. Yet was my art teacher at Lamoille Union High School, and he was one of those teachers who made a great impression. I do remember you. You gave me that painting. I did! And for five years now, he's been retired. So we're going to check in with him and see what kind of artwork he's been working on. And the Joker. The Joker is me when I was 17, and now. I can't believe I'm 65! <laughs> I taught 37 years. Both high school, middle school, elementary school. And community college. Yeah, I, I had like 350 kids every year. I do miss them some days and then I go substitute for a day and I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to make uh, a deck of cards. And this is the king of clubs. Oh, this is the queen of clubs. She's not done. I really like kings and queens. Art has brought me love and happiness. Art is everything so that you can explore all sorts of things and just enjoy yourself. I used to say that there's never been anybody like you in the entire history of man and that's why you're significant as an artist. And if that was true for Mr. Gant's students, it was certainly true for him as well. Just look at my high school yearbook. Here's me as an Egyptian. We all did self-portraits as Egyptians. And here's me as a sphinx. And this was put a hat on Mr. Guillet Day. Oh, that's me as a Lego. And we did pointillism. I had them draw their hair as their name. The kind of fairy they would be. You can ask that in, in elementary school. You couldn't do that in high school. It makes you feel good about yourself that you are different than anybody that's ever been. Yeah, I used to yodel every Friday into the microphone at school. Into the microphone. I remember that. It's Friday! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, Moose Face. Mr. Gant, they're birds! Insupportable. I was always crazy, and I didn't really do it on purpose. It just happened. <laughs> I just told the kids, if you don't behave, this is what's going to happen. The principal saw me and he said, I don't want to know. Mom, Mr. Giet's from another planet. She said, oh no, he just acts like he is. He said, no, he really is. They needed to see that people can stand out on their own and be very comfortable in their own skin. If you get it just right, you can get stations in Burlington. Subjects in school deal with survival, but are deals with living. Eight. Your eighth generation Vermonter? Yeah, I was an orphan at 13. And so I had to rely on myself a lot. And I went to Windsor Mountain School in Lenox, Massachusetts, where our headmistress was the last living student of Sigmund Freud. This is one of the reasons that I became a teacher, because I said to her, Gertrude, how do you keep yourself so young? And she said to me, surround yourself with children for children are the fountain of youth. And I have, and I'm still 14. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of cool that I have my first painting ever. This is a drawing I did in 1973 in Nice when I was taking the lessons from Mademoiselle Fischfett, who was a student of Henri Matisse. These were people in the park, in Parc Messina in Nice. This is uh, one I did in 1974. It was the design for our wedding invitations. That's incredible that we've weathered 40 years and that love is still there. I met her when I was 17 and I saw her and I went, she'll never have anything to do with me. Cause she was playing for Elise on the piano and I was singing dirty songs. I changed my major from art to French and I went to France after her. I made this for her 26th birthday. She really didn't know quite what to make of me. Uh, I think that uh, she still doesn't know. Yeah, I think she likes me. I think we're best friends. 
Like this was heroes. And I put my wife flying over the house. Mrs. Guillet was my French teacher and also my vice principal at Lamoille. And you can see her represented in a lot of the art that Mr. Guillet makes. See, if you can get your wife to be the principal, that's a good thing. <laughs> Is there a part of you that wishes you could have been 100% artist? Or... No, because I couldn't have had a family. I don't see how you can be an artist and have very much of a relationship. <laughs> it's me in the class of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I was not like any other teacher that they had. Kids try to conform. They try to be like everybody else. And with art, you can tell them it's good not to be like everybody else. It's good to be you. I was teaching them how to use uh, watercolors. I want you to draw a picture of yourself with a friend in the rainforest eating a snack. You can see we did this, these collages and I let the kids add me into anything like that. We were doing stained glass at Lamoille and so I did this one of my son. I stole the idea from a kid. I had a folder of ideas that I took from the kids. When they really saw who they were, that's when, when, when were my greatest joys. You know, when they said, wow, oh, I did that. I like tiny brushes because you can control them more. I just love painting. I'm not fast, but I'm persistent. Mary Cassatt did mothers and daughters and mothers and, and sons. And I figured it's about time that that wonderful relationship between fathers and children is portrayed. And this is one of my students. What I was trying to do was to paint my irises, plus my daughter loves cats, so I put those in. It's called uh, Love's Triumph Over Aggression and Shyness. Because if you're in love, it takes over everything. <laughs> That's my Nancy. <laughs> so if you follow Mr. Gia on Facebook, you can watch the progress of his playing card series. Or if you're a former student, maybe you just want to drop by and say hello. Now that you're on Facebook, you must have so many. I do, I have lots of students. <laughs> and I haven't had them as a student for 30, 40 years. It's so wonderful. This is kind of, in a way, what you get to do now that you have the time. Yeah, that's right. I hate it when kids say, I'm bored. I said, the only reason you could possibly be bored is because you're boring. So find something. Thanks for the walk down memory lane, Mr. Giet, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. All right. You really didn't take any teaching. <laughs> That's good. Because you knew who you were. I, I think you did. That's what I always figured. You knew who you were. And that's unusual. I remember you being in the classroom in the back, working on your work, and nothing else mattered. And it, it was wonderful because you were consumed by it. And, and, and that's what people should be, is consumed by life.